Um, yeah, she wasn't feeling so good. So hopefully it's nothing, uh, hopefully it's nothing major. What did you see from Leah in her return? Is she, I assume she's still feeling good. Uh, what did you see from her on the court? She gave us a, a real spark. Um, obviously getting on the offensive glass and I thought her activity defensively was really good. Uh, she took a hard fall on the, you know, on her butt in front of our bench and bounced back up and played. So I take that as a good sign, but I uh, haven't had a chance to really check in with her yet. Now, Asia, well, there no points in the first half or 15 overall. What, what was working on that end? How did you kind of crack the code there? Uh, by sending a lot of people at her. And we just tried to um, not let her get going early. I've seen I've seen enough of her movies to know what happens when you let her get going. So um, just tried to make it hard, but some other people made us pay. You took 16 threes in the first half and then only two in the third quarter. Um, you know, was it was it more their their defense tightening up on that, or do you feel like you guys got away from it, or both? Um, definitely their defensive adjustments, but at the same time, we foul a lot, and so every time we foul, they get to set their defense and be organized. If we don't foul, even if they score, we get to jump in and and run it at them and make them make decisions at full speed. Um, we have to stop fouling. Overall, Eric. Early game. How do you think you guys did in the first half, and maybe if you were able to sustain? Which opportunities? I'm sorry. Well, we were talking about limiting them, trying to get them set up there. Oh, uh, I thought we did a good job for a while, and then when our offense got a little scattered, um, I thought our transition defense slipped, which is you know pretty normal. But I thought there were opportunity or periods of the game where we could have done a better job. Like there was a couple plays where we uh, you know turned it over and the ball is out of bounds and. We were not switched on enough as the ball changed into the courts, and all of a sudden somebody's rim running past us. Steph's had a really good stretch of games here for you guys. Another one where she was just plays off behind the point. Right? What are you doing to try and set her up and give her those opportunities? And then how's that translating to the playoff court? I mean, people are scouting her. Everybody knows she can shoot. So just trying to um, find some some new ways to free her up a little bit. Um. You know, she's obviously in a good rhythm, trying not to say too much to her and let her just, you know, it's like a, a baseball hitter on a hot streak. You just don't say much and keep it moving. And, um, you know, I think there's probably a couple of opportunities tonight that we could have found her in a little better positions and gotten her a few more shots. With the Leah matching up against Asia for a long time, what was the decision like to put her on her? How did you think she did with that? You know, high profile matching? And she did well for the first time. I mean, first time playing against her. Um, it's tough. Asia's a problem. If you put a big on her, she's quick enough to go by him. If you put somebody smaller, she can just rise up and shoot over the top of them. So, you know, Aaliyah's not 6'5", but um, she's strong and pretty quick. So we just tried to tell her stay in front and make her shoot over the top. Don't foul. Uh, how frustrating is it to have such a great first half in a whole age of Wilson that no points in the third quarter and then you still come away with a double digit loss? Um... I just am frustrated mostly with our offense and our our offense in the second half and our, you know, kind of lack of purpose on some of our possessions and then our fouling. Was there anything specific that changed uh, offensively? I mean, you said that the offense was more scattered in the second half, but did you notice anything specific as to why things changed as it did? I don't, um, I mean, Vegas made some changes, you know, they went a little smaller, um, they tried to bait us into picking on mismatches a little bit more. And I thought we got bogged down in that. And then um, I don't know more times than I would like when we were calling the set, we broke the play, and those didn't turn out very well. Young, what kind of challenges did they provide? Well, Chelsea, look, Chelsea Gray looked back to her best tonight. Um, they're both good passers. They're both good scorers. And they can score at all three levels. Chelsea made some, you know, kind of vintage Chelsea Gray shots tonight, step backs over a contest. Um, Jackie got going right off the bat. So it's tough to cool somebody like that off once they're going. Hey, Leah, just, just for you, how is it being back? You know, first game in, in 10 days, how is it How is it getting out there again? Uh, it felt so good to be back out there with the team. Um, felt like I wasn't able to – um, contribute as much as I could on the bench. So just even stepping out there for the first sub, it was it was pretty cool. What was, what was kind of the process for you of, you know, working your way back? 
Um, just keep doing the things that I'm expected to do, uh, doing the things I do well. Um, and I think that I did that. Um, but you know, not the result that we wanted, but, um, I think that we executed some of the stuff that we wanted to in the first half. Just got to um, make sure we do that for full 40 minutes. Both of you just, you know, defending Asia, she scoreless in the first half, shot, had a really, you know, tough night overall for her team. Um, what, what do you both think was, was working well defensively on her? I think just loading the ball. I mean, they did a great job walling up, not fouling her. Um, but I think everyone did a really good job of just like, loading uh making every shot difficult for her um and then just reacting from that yeah, yeah. Steph, what kind of change in the second where you guys shooting 62 percent be really good in some looks first half and the second half we didn't see that yeah i mean they made an adjustment um with the way they were uh guarding screens and uh their defense in general they they made some adjustments and i don't think we we just didn't get as good shots, you know. I think when we get really open shots, we're a really great team. We we make them, but um, they made our shots a little bit more difficult in the second half. And I'm not sure we read the defense as well. Um, so we just got to be better at that. Is there coverage on you? What were you seeing tonight? How they were when you defensively? Um, in the first half, they weren't doing much. Uh, they weren't switching. They were just kind of showing and getting back. And then in the second half. Definitely more peel switches. Um, so we just got to learn how to play out of uh, switching. Um, yeah, uh, it was pretty cool because, like, you know, someone you've been watching on TV and you actually get to compete against them. Um, it was pretty cool. Um, you know, I got my buckets on her and I, I locked up a little bit, but then she got her buckets on me too. So, um, it was just, <laughs> yeah, it was just a good competitive, um, game. So I, I love that matchup. Um, she's a, such a dominant player, um, longer, taller, stronger than me. So it was a bit of a challenge for me. So, um, I like challenges and, uh, I think that it was, it was fun, uh, competing against her. Getting to do that so early in your career, do you feel like that? in terms of like next game oh um yeah for sure uh you know any individual um matchup uh, i feel like i learned from um so that the next time we match up against uh, this team we'll be more prepared but you know as Steph said it wasn't just one-on-one -on -one defense the whole game it was a team effort on the defensive end and i think that we did uh very well of just forcing other people to to create and forcing other people to make shots so just curious, um, it seemed like it was kind of a snowball effect of things in the second uh, half with just how things went for you guys. How do you prevent those sort of snowball type events from happening? Uh, just because it seemed like, I guess, when you guys wanted to go on a run or whatever it is, just nothing really went right in that regard. Yeah. Um, someone told me something called a pattern interrupt. And I think we have to be better at something like that. Like we're doing the same mistakes over and over. The next person has to do something different. It's like, when someone fouls, the next person fouls. And then someone takes a bad shot, the next person takes a bad shot. It's like, we just have to be better at if you're the next person to do something different, right? Or if you're the same person to at least not make the same mistake twice. And I think um, that's something, you know, we're a little bit of a younger team. And I think that's just growing and, and learning from each experience. Steph, when you're playing as a team that has, you know, two high caliber shot blockers, do you feel like the greater responsibility to do um yes and no i think i feel like that with every team to be honest with you is just drawing my defender out as much as i can um it opens up the lane for Aaliyah, my uh julian a just to get downhill um so you know hopefully i just keep shooting with confidence and and hoping they keep going in but that's what she does so <laughs> i don't think she needs to switch it up <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's cool. Uh, they told me that they're gonna pull up, and um, I said, make sure you wear a good fit because I know you're gonna get um on TV and they're gonna represent well. Um, <laughs> but no, it's just cool that you know, uh, you know, UConn, it's just a sisterhood, and um, you know, even the relationships that you build. When I was still in college, it, it still um lasts. So uh, you know, they're my 
um, a couple of my best friends and uh, to have them there side court side. I didn't see Paige court side, but I saw AZ court side. Um, it's weird they didn't they didn't tell me they were coming. Uh, it's fine. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm just not friends with them. When did no, you graduate? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You didn't need to be famous. <laughs>